This is not drawn to scale. Me cannot draw, but this is just a representation. South America, Central America, the United States, and the Caribbean, and this is West Africa. This is Bermuda. Remember Bermuda. This is how storms travel across the ocean. This blue line here represents the equator. Anything that's above the equator, any storm system that's above the, equ the equator in the ocean will want to go north because of the rotation of Earth. And the stronger the storm system is, the more it will curve and go north, right? So why doesn't Melissa or any other storm will hit any islands curve? Melissa was, didn't just pop up in the Caribbean. Melissa was a cluster of storms that came off Africa when nobody didn't notice except the meteorologists. Then come over, come over, come over until them get to the Caribbean. So why did it stall in the Caribbean? Remember what I'm telling you, remember Bermuda? This is called the Bermuda High. It's an area of high pressure that's usually between Florida and the East Coast and Bermuda. And that's an area of high pressure. That prevents any cyclones, hurricanes, or anything from moving the direction they're supposed to move, which is north. Okay, so if the Bermuda High North and prevent this for God that way, why it never just go west? Because at that same time, there was another area of high pressure over the United States. Also, there was an area of high pressure over the East Caribbean and also in the West Caribbean towards Mexico that also helped in sandwiching Melissa in that specific place in the South Caribbean underneath Jamaica. Therefore, this don't have no way to go. So that means it will go stall right there. So now, when these start to move away now, that is when Melissa starts to move this direction because this and this is dragging it this way. And that is why Melissa stalled in the Caribbean and moved across Jamaica. There is no cloud seeding. Nobody went to the Caribbean to create the hurricane. On our phone, on the dunce. The reason why it got so strong is because during this time of the year, Atlantic hurricane season is from June to November. When it comes closer to the end of the season, the Atlantic over here becomes a little bit more cooler. But the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean still has warm temperatures. So when Melissa was in here stuck because of this and this, it had time to develop into a category five. Nobody make it. It's nature and it's a catastrophe.